1915, Dr. Michael Hoke and Atlanta businessman Thomas Eggleston, Jr., were independently laying the groundwork for what would become one of the nation's leading pediatric hospitals. Among the thousands of stellar physicians who have been a part of Children's through its first 100 years are certain doctors whose profound contributions have shaped this institution. These extraordinary physicians, whose careers span the decades, form a constellation of excellence, illuminating our past and guiding us toward a bright future for Georgia's kids. Dr. Leela Denmark saw much of the children's story unfold in person. In 1928, she became the first intern at the new Henrietta Eggleston Hospital for Children, admitting their first patient and launching a career in pediatric care that lasted more than 70 years. Mother got very interested in whooping cough. They were putting together a whooping cough vaccine and it, she helped develop it in that she helped test it. And um, they vaccinated the children. You couldn't do this these days. Everybody sue the socks off of you. Every child in school today receives the DPT vaccine that Dr. Denmark helped create. Her legacy also lives on through the Dr. Leela Denmark Physician Education Endowment, which was established through a bequest when she passed away in 2012 at the remarkable age of 114. Every child should have a chance. That was her, her, the motto she lived by. Do what you can to help because they're our next generation. In 1959, Henrietta Eggleston Hospital moved from Atlanta's old Fourth Ward to the Emory University campus. That same year saw the arrival of Dr. Joseph H. Patterson, who left private practice to join the hospital as its physician-in-chief. Well-liked and widely respected by the medical community, Dr. Patterson was especially known as a great teacher. As I recall, on Wednesdays, we'd have grand rounds, and then after grand rounds, you'd go on walking rounds, walking teaching rounds with Dr. Patterson. And it was always amazing to me the number of community pediatricians that would, that would spend their time, spend the rest of those several hours that morning walking with him, just, I always said, just picking up pearls that he was dropping. He was so smart. One of the most important breakthroughs pioneered by Dr. Patterson was the approach that enabled parents to spend the night with their children in the hospital and become directly involved in their care. Dr. Patterson is the doctor we all wanted to be. Often credited with helping build Atlanta's pediatric medical community, when Dr. Judson L. Hawk Jr. arrived at Children's, he immediately began surrounding himself with the best and brightest in the field of pediatric medicine. He attracted doctors, he retained doctors, he helped to establish a culture and a value set that brought those doctors together working in, in, in effective ways that they would not necessarily have achieved uh, absent his presence. Dr. Hawk not only practiced at both Eggleston and Scottish Rite in his career, but he also went beyond the hospital walls to advocate for children from all walks of life. His uh, reach in the community was just, just phenomenal. And the love that I would watch being expressed from these former patients of his who had grown up and now had children of their own was, was really an astounding thing to behold. The Judson L. Hawk Jr. MD Clinic for Children at Scottish Rite bears his name in recognition of his dream of ensuring quality care, health, and happiness for all children. As the head of the Department of Pediatrics at Emory University, and medical director at Eggleston from 1981 to 1995, Dr. George Brumley was instrumental in the creation of the Emory Eggleston Children's Research Center, established in 1985. 
He brought his passion for science, his passion for medicine, his passion for the good of all children to each of us on the faculty. Dr. Brumley was known as a bridge builder, envisioning and forging connections between people and institutions that no one else could have imagined. It's fitting that the bridge linking the New Health Sciences Research Building to the Emory Children's Pediatric Research Center, funded by a gift from the Brumley family, bears his name. If there's mastery in deep down goodness, in humility, in caring for others, then Dr. Brumley was an absolute master. When Dr. Raymond T. Morrissey joined Scottish Rite in 1983 as its medical director and chief of orthopedics, the hospital had just 72 beds. Dr. Morrissey had a vision for what Scottish Rite could become, and Dr. Morrissey set about recruiting. He, he had a saying, people make programs, and he set about recruiting top physicians from all over the United States to come to Scottish Rite and build programs. Under Dr. Morrissey, the hospital more than doubled in size, growing to a 165-bed facility. When Scottish Rite and Eggleston merged to form Children's Healthcare of Atlanta, Dr. Morrissey continued as chief medical officer of the award-winning orthopedics program he had helped shape. Dr. Morrissey literally took Scottish Rite to an entirely different level through his vision, through his wisdom, through his leadership. Over nearly 50 years of practicing at Children's and 25 years as a senior member of the Emory faculty, Dr. Joe Snitzer has trained hundreds of physicians in the art and science of pediatric care. When I think of Dr. Snitzer, I think of the epitome of a physician. Um, he's brilliant. He is one of the kindest people that you've ever met, and he truly cares about others. And what he's done to teach generations of pediatricians is e extraordinary. In fact, many of Dr. Snitzer's former students, fellows, and residents are now his colleagues at Children's. If Dr. Snitzer is watching this video right now, he's probably not too happy that we're sharing such wonderful things, uh, but that, that's who Joe is. He, he wants to be behind the scenes. He wants the um, uh, the proof of, of his work to be in how well his patients do and in how well his residents and students learn and go on to be pediatricians in their community. I've depended on Dr. Snitzer. If I didn't know the answer, um, I went to Dr. Snitzer. If you need some help, call Joe. These six physicians, along with countless others, embody the vision Dr. Hoke and Thomas Eggleston Jr. shared and brought to life through what is now Children's Healthcare of Atlanta. Advances in pediatric medicine over the last century have fueled our passion and raised our expectations. Our physicians, our caregivers, our supporters, and our community have carried us to the forefront of children's hospitals nationwide. We look back on our history with pride and forge ahead with hope. <laughs>